Welcome to episode 18 of the One Day at a Time podcast. I'm your host Sanjana and I'm a mindset coach. I help women across the globe to create a life which is in alignment with their true selves without feeling overwhelmed. Hello everyone. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about the Daily Stoic book. This is written by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Ryan Holiday is actually one of my favorite authors. I have read one of his books called The Obstacle is the Way. And this book is really nice. It gives you great insights as to how to use challenges and obstacles in order to succeed in life. So if you're going through a tough situation now, or even if you're not, it's good to be prepared. I'd highly recommend you to read this book. Now coming back to the Daily Stoic book, this book actually has the extracts from Roman Stoics biographies, their journals and documentaries. And how it's divided is that each day of the year will have one extract. So there are 366 extracts from all of these journals and biographies. The best part is that these journals were actually written by those Stoics. So that's really nice. And one more thing that I found it very surprising is that how these lessons or these thoughts are so valid even for the current society that we live in and the current times that we live in. So that's something that I found quite interesting. And on each of these pages under these extracts, the authors have explained about that particular extract. They talk about like what it is, what does it mean? And they give us a few suggestions like what we can do with it. And the nice thing is that it provokes a lot of thought. You kind of go back into your experiences and you think, oh, did it really happen like this? Oh yeah, that's why I might have responded that way and next time probably I can try out this method. So these explanations are very easy to understand and most of the days like it's not even a page like I think on all the days it's not even a page there would be one or two or like maximum five days in the entire year where you have to read like the entire page half page would be the extract and the other half would be the explanation and the way you read this book is that every day you read one page whatever is assigned for that day you read it and i like it because even if you skip a day it's not a problem there is no need of continuous reading or you have to read page 80 in order to understand page 81 it's not at all like that they're very nice if you have to read it individually you can just randomly open a page in the book and see whatever comes up it would make total sense so that's not needed and it's fine if you skip a day and even if you're picking that book now say march 5th or 4th you can start reading it from that day itself. You need not read it from January. Having said that, if you read this book collectively, like on every single day, the impact on your overall life would be much higher. So hope that makes sense. It's totally fine if you skip a couple of days and it is great if you're able to read it all together. Now I'm going to explain you guys about a little bit about like the content of the book, how exactly it's themed out and what you can expect from it. Stoicism, as I understand, is a way of living and it's a different philosophy of life. And if you don't agree with any of the thoughts that are given here or something that's recommended that's totally fine you need not agree each and everything that's said some of the things i don't agree as well and i just pick up things that actually i agree with and i find it useful and one more thing what i have noticed is i have read this book in 2020 from january 1st to december 31st probably i would have skipped a few days in between but not a lot And when I'm reading it now, this year in 2021, I see that I understand some of the concepts a bit differently than how I understood last year. And I know that because of some of the things that I've underlined or some of the sticky notes with notes, like, you know, I would have made some notes and put the sticky notes on those pages. So I see that even when I'm in different situation or I'm in a different phase of life, I take those messages differently. So it's totally fine if you don't agree with some of the things that are mentioned there. 
and let's get into the contents of this book basically this book is divided into three different themes the first one is perception the second one is action and the third one is will and each of these themes are further divided into four categories so here we go we have one category for each month branched into three different themes and we'll go one by one so the first theme is perception in this they talk about how you perceive the world how you perceive certain people how you perceive the situations and one of the examples that i can give is they talk about like you know oh you would have faced this situation how did you perceive it and instead of perceiving it that way what if you would have thought about the situation in this recommended way and when you hear that recommended way or when you read it you go back to your experiences and life and you think about okay what if i would have perceived the situation in that way probably it would have turned out a little bit differently and you know all of that so that's really nice and it also talks about self awareness as most of you know we think a lot of thoughts i think it's about 80000 thoughts per day you know th this number of thoughts goes on in on an average in a human's brain every single day so that's a lot and this theme the section talks about like how you can become more self aware and why is it important to be aware of what's going on in your mind and how you are thinking about certain situations how you are perceiving certain things and then it also talks about one of my favorite topics which is clarity like how to have clarity and why is it important to have clarity if you don't have what is going to happen and if you do have how would it be different from that and also if you are in a phase wherein you are really confused it will also help you to deal with that and this is something that i coach on as well about gaining clarity regarding your goals regarding who you are regarding your purpose so it was really interesting for me to read from the perspective of stoicism so that was really interesting and then it also talks about passions in life you know your own passions how basically how to recognize what truly brings you joy like what brings you that emotional satisfaction so this was all about perception basically just clearing up your brain being more self aware and also making sure that whatever you're thinking is in alignment with who you want to be and where you want to go it's not just random thoughts that's going on there and the second theme is action under this it talks about some practical things as well as mindset stuff and that's completely the way i approach life as well i feel it's a mixture of or a fine balance of both strategy as well as mindset and one of the strategies that it talks about is problem solving techniques and how you know how you can if you're faced with a situation what you can do how you can solve that problem and go ahead and take action and in life no matter what you do if you don't take action nothing is going to work out so i feel this theme is really important and then another thing that i really like is it talks about how you know your thoughts impact your actions so it's like you know kind of continuation from the previous theme and what i have learned is that your thoughts affect your feelings your feelings impact your actions and your actions impact your results so basically whatever you think depending on that you know you feel that way so if you think a lot of negative things and something that scares you you are going to experience irrational fear and when you experience that you act in accordance with your feelings because if if you're in a calm mind you would have acted in a different way right so that's that's how feelings are connected to your actions and how your feelings come from your thoughts and based on how you act obviously that's the kind of results you get and that's the kind of reality you create for yourself so keep this in mind i really love this flow wherein your thoughts create your feelings your 
feelings create your actions and your actions create your reality or results so this book talks about that as well and it also talks about self-trust so that's something which was you know quite surprising for me because when it comes to action i see a lot of books that speak about you know like strategies and you have to plan this way and you know you have to do that so i really liked how it talked about trusting yourself because if you don't trust yourself if you don't trust that you are making the right decision or you are thinking the right thoughts and then you will not act in your full potential basically you will self sabotage and then you will kind of purposely or subconsciously act in a way or take action that kind of undermines your potential so how many of us would have done that till date you know we we kind of undermine ourselves we say that ah oh, who's going to listen to us why do i have to start this youtube channel why do you have to start a podcast you know who am i so we think such thoughts and our kind of actions as well reflect that and i really like how they talk about trusting yourself so that you can take action with full potential and it also talks about confidence and i believe that confidence is a result of trusting yourself so the more you trust yourself the more confident you are about yourself and then another thing that this section addresses is fomo oh my god i love reading about it because i feel that even if you are aware of it sometimes you end up getting affected by fomo you know the current lifestyle that we are living in we see other people's life and so on social media they do certain things and we might get influenced by it if we are not truly really aware of ourselves if you're not aware of our passions if you're not aware of our purpose it's very easy easy to drift away and kind of act in accordance with that and not act in accordance with who we are and who we want to be so that's something that i liked as well and the third theme in this book is about will which is so important i feel this is what will keep the motor running it's great that now you have got an idea about how to clear up your thoughts on a regular basis how to be self aware and also how to act in accordance with your thoughts and how to live in alignment with your purpose so you have got all that now how to keep this going how to make this more regular and how to make this basically a lifestyle rather than a one off thing so this section addresses all of that one of the things that it talks about is discipline you know discipline is really important if you have to keep things going on a daily basis and that's when you succeed right when you take actions on a consistent basis that all adds up to the bigger picture so it talks about that and then another thing that it talks about is resilience unfortunately i feel that this is a skill that we need to actively build and we need to actively develop and it's not something that comes easily and this is also one of the most important skills i feel you need in order to live and succeed in life in today's terms and the way our society is today i feel resilience is really important i can give you an example how someone might feel and that includes me as well sometimes i do feel that if i'm not too conscious about you know certain things you know we have these reels and these tiktok videos right they're all like 15 seconds 30 seconds and people are crunching their content within this time span which is really nice which is entertaining some are really fun but the more you consume such content subconsciously how you would feel is oh this is quick this is instant it's going to happen very soon that's how you kind of take things subconsciously you might actively know that no it's not possible for it to happen this quickly but the i'm not talking about the actual duration i'm just talking about the concept of how everything is instant and that's the way we have been fed as well and when i say we have been fed that's how the 
some of the technologies have been developed that you know they sell this ideology that oh everything is instant everything is going to happen quickly which is actually not true some of it might be true most of it i don't think it's true so that's how it kind of transforms into your life and like i said i'm not talking about the exact duration but if you have planned some goals say you think that oh within 3 months i need to achieve this particular goal and if you don't instead of going back and reviewing your actions seeing what you did wrong that it did not happen or what externally which wasn't in your control didn't work out the way you had anticipated instead of thinking all of these things you would start questioning yourself i'm like oh my god what the hell is wrong with me everyone else you know they are succeeding in this why the hell am i not able to do it so that's how you'll start perceiving basically the timeline that you would have imagined or you would have anticipated it to you know fulfill by if it doesn't happen by that date then you would start questioning your own self and which is not good that kind of decreases self trust as you progress in life the more situate the more such situations you are faced with the more trust you lose in yourself so this book addresses that as well and another interesting thing in this theme was how the authors talk about getting influenced by others this was so fascinating that they included it under the will and discipline and all of that because if you imagine if we are working on something and if we develop that will and you're trying to create habits to make this goal sustainable there are a lot of you know options now to get influenced by by someone who you know someone who you don't know as well and it it addresses that fact also so that'll be an interesting thing to read as to how you can mind your own business not get impacted or influenced by others especially if what you're doing is something that truly matters to you so that's nice and then it also talks about acceptance which again was another fascinating thing that they included it under will but if you read it it makes total sense because if you you know if you've built up that resilience and then you keep things going but unfortunately it doesn't succeed for whatever reason how you how important it is to accept yourself in that situation and not question your integrity so that's that was very fascinating i highly suggest you to read this i would say go with a curious mind when you pick up this book and when you start reading try and see like you know don't accept everything at face value try to think provoke your thoughts this book does a great job in provoking your thoughts but provided you go with a curious mind and not accept everything that's mentioned there at face value so go with a curious mind see how you feel about each of the things that are said and it's not like very intense at all some of the books that i have read are so intense and it consumes a lot of brain space this book is not at all like that it's a very easy read it doesn't even take 5 minutes per day for you to read it trust me it doesn't even take that much time and i also wanted to mention a few of the impacts when you read this book daily or for most of the days in the year and one the first thing is a very obvious which is you develop the habit of reading so if you have never read a book or if you have never read a personal development book or you have read books but you have taken a break and you want to get back into reading this book is perfect like i said it doesn't even take 5 minutes you can set up your you know you can add it to your morning routine or night routine or any time of the day i personally do it in the mornings I, as soon as i wake up when i journal after i journal is when i read this book some of them as i know they read it right before they go to bed so you can add it any time of the day you want doesn't take more than 5 minutes and 
here you go you develop the habit of reading and one more thing very similar to that because you're reading this it's a bit more time away from your screens and who doesn't like it we are constantly using laptops or phones so this is really nice that you get some time to spend away from your screens and the third thing is i mentioned it a couple of times which is that it provokes a lot of thoughts and i really loved it i loved how i went back into certain life experiences that i've had and just think about and reflect on you know oh what if i would have reacted this way or you know i think about oh in the future if this happens what if i react this way instead of how i usually react and the fourth impact of this book is that it creates changes in your day-to-day -day life you start living more mindfully you start living with a lot of intention and this was my main purpose when i picked up this book and i wanted to read i just wanted to you know become more intentional in my day-to-day -day life and this is not a book wherein you know you read it and you're very inspired by it it's not that kind of a book it's more about slow and you know very impactful changes that it creates in your life so keep that in mind when you pick up this book and another impact that i wanted to share is i was surprised in fact by how this came up for me it actually reminds you of your bigger picture it reminds you of you know what what is that goal and it's such a good balance of these two things reminding you of your bigger picture like just you have that thing in your head okay this is the goal that you want to achieve this is the kind of person you aspire to be and this is the kind of life that you want to create it does a very good job at you know reminding you that as well as like i mentioned it changes in your day-to-day -day life so that these two are in alignment you know you are making these changes in order to go there i am amazed as to how well they have balanced both of these so i really like that this is actually one of the best personal development books that i have read i think i can actually go ahead and say that if you are planning to read one book in your entire life I'd suggest you to read this particular book and if you haven't read any personal development books and want to like you know dip your feet into it and see how you might enjoy this content I think it would be a good book for you guys as well if you haven't read anything and also if you have never read a book before and this is your first time reading it would be a great one as well so yeah this was all about the daily stoic book that i wanted to share with you guys if you want me to go more in depth in any one of the categories that i mentioned or any one of the themes that i mentioned do let me know in the comments below and if you're listening to this on a podcast then dm me on instagram so yeah guys this was all about the daily stoic book and that's it for today's episode thank you so much for listening and i'll see you in my next one bye